Excuse me. Come on. Come on. I know you're trying to wake me up. I'm up. Let's go. Hey guys, and welcome back to a vlog, which hasn't happened in a hot minute. I just thought we'd hang out. I wasn't, I woke up this morning and was kind of just like, you know, I don't really feel like filming today. I've just, if you watched my get ready with me, like let's chat, get ready with me. You guys know I've kind of just like been feeling some type of way as of recently. So I kind of woke up and felt that way today until I checked my comments on my YouTube channel. And actually Carolina, this woman that I went to high school with and we've reconnected recently, like within the past year, she started watching my YouTube channel and we chat pretty often. She commented on my let's chat, get ready with me. And she left me like the nicest common like genuinely so sweet made my day honestly i'm still smiling and i read it like three hours ago um so yeah i read her comment and was just like you know what i looked in the mirror and i was like you got this you can do this don't let yourself get in the way because like i talked about previously sometimes we get in our own ways and that has really been a self-reflecting problem that i have been working through and facing in the last month or so so I have a lot to do right now. I really need to finish editing my first ever beauty quick tip. So I have my laptop here, my little plug in headphones. I'm going to edit that. I want to work out because I work out five to six days a week, especially now that I'm working from home. I've kind of honestly been working out six days a week. It just helps to get me going. And I'm not really moving as much now that I'm home because I'm not really going anywhere. Before when I was going to work, you know, I worked in New York City, I would walk to and from the office, which was like a mile and a half. And then I would come home and work out for 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm just trying to stay active, just trying to keep moving because I think it's really important to sit down and think to yourself, especially in times like this, like what makes you feel more you and working out has always been a really big part of my life so that's just something that i try to do as much as possible because it helps me feel normal if you like my pajamas i got them on target i will link them down below they're super comfortable and i've literally bought like every single print possible i have workout clothes on now but uh spoiler alert it's like now 3 45 because i uploaded my video Thank God it's up. Um, I had some technical difficulties with that because what else is new? And then I got swamped with work. So this has really like been the theme of my weekdays. Yeah, for the past few months. So it's Friday. I don't know if I'm uploading this on a Friday, but when I'm filming this, it is a Friday. So I can genuinely like chill tonight because there's no work tomorrow. And isn't that like such a lovely feeling? Like the feeling of not having to set your alarm just makes me like so happy. I'm gonna show you my skincare collection. We'll go through it because I desperately need to organize it. And I have some new products that I wanna try. I actually received Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum. It has BHA Witch Hazel Niacinamide, which I love. I'm not a big like Bliss fan though i bought a bliss face wash once when they first started selling them it did not go well first of all it did not take off my makeup second of all it made me break out so i'm a little skeptical to try this but since bliss sent this to me i'm gonna test it out because it was really nice of them to send it to me regardless i did get this little pimple right here this guy you know it's almost that time of month for me surprise i say that in like all my videos but peach slices which i've never heard of until i received this they sent me this fast acting patches drug-free and non-drying and it's supposed to help blemishes disappear quickly and effectively so i'm gonna work out i'm gonna shower i have a baby shower that i have to go tomorrow so i'm gonna wash my hair tonight so that i don't have to wash my hair tomorrow because it will save me time because i'm not very like quick in the morning i'm a very slow mover to be somewhere by one o'clock Yeah, I'm trying to minimize the time that I'm spending working out in the morning and like the other things that I have to do in the morning. So 60 minutes today, I'm gonna do 30 minutes tomorrow. Let's get going. 10 more seconds, you're doing great. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good job, good job. I want you to focus on your breathing here. 
You'll see my hips go back, drive, catch. Good job. 14, 13. Bliss Cleanser. Game changing treatment combines the benefits of a toner and a serum to purify pores, tone skin, and deliver concentrated ingredients for ultimate skin clarity. And I love that this has like a pump. See, you like press down here. So let's go ahead and press on the pump. I also lost a friend in the shower. I hate when that happens. Maybe it takes like a couple. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It smells minty and it's kind of, uh, it's not like, I thought it was going to be sticky. It's not very sticky. But it is like a thicker texture than I anticipated it being. That is for sure. It's kind of sticky. It's not like as sticky as I thought it was going to be like rubbing into my skin. But it's definitely a thicker serum formula than I am used to. But that's not to say that I may not end up loving it. So I'll let you guys know in a future vlog or a roundup whether or not I end up really liking this. Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resistance 24 Eye Cream. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of this on and I'm going to pat it around my eye. This one really irritates my eyes though if I get too close to my eye. So I try to keep it like I try not to get like super close in here because but my eye gets really irritated and I'm not kidding. Like I get red like little pimples underneath my eye. Can you hear my loud obnoxious neighbors? They're so loud. They literally blast music at all hours of the day. Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve. And I'm gonna try and not get it on my pimple because I wanna put one of those pimple patches on. Peach Slices Acne Spot Dots. Adhere the patch over the area to be treated. After eight hours, remove by gently peeling back and discarding, cleanse the treated area and apply another patch if desired. So I wonder if this will stay on my face while I sleep because it's currently seven o'clock. So I don't really have eight hours for this to like chill on my face before I go roll around violently as I always do in bed. Okay, I feel like a small one will fit. So I'm just gonna peel it off of this little thing right here. That's what it looks like. It just looks like my skin's falling off of my face. But it's not too bad. It's not like super noticeable. Mad Hippie Advanced Skincare Vitamin C Serum. And what I do is I take about a full pump and I pretty much slather it all over my chest. And I just rub it in. So I literally just put this all over my chest in hopes that it will get rid of my sunspots. And I'll put it on my neck as well. Strivectin TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. I've seen a difference thus far in the month I've been using it, but I wanna continue to use it for another four weeks, but I take about that much. And this stuff like smells like it works. Like it kind of smells like medicine. I just rub it into my neck. Mm, really good. What are, what are you eating? Mm, really good. Is that the delicious uh, chicken fried rice I made? Delicious chicken fried rice. Some chicken fried rice, a glass of wine, and hopefully we're not really watching the Yankees for that much longer. So it's been a while since you last saw me. I cooked dinner, we ate dinner, and then we watched an episode of Love Island. I love Love Island. Does anyone else watch Love Island? I'm gonna use the r Co. Dallas Thickening Spray. Spray on towel dried hair, then blow dry in sections for style as usual and feel the difference, which you definitely feel the difference. So I'm gonna spray this from my roots down. And since it is thickening spray and my hair is so flat, I do like to get it on my scalp. And you can like already see the difference in my hair volume. And then this doesn't have heat protectant in it. That's kind of like the only downside for me. It would really be an all-in-one if it had heat protector in it. Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. And this is Heat UV Protective Primer. I'm not gonna spray it onto my hair though because your hair doesn't really need a lot of this. It is an oil and I don't want it to weigh my hair down. And like I just said, I'm trying to make it more voluminous. I'm gonna spray this on my hand. Three sprays. I'm gonna rub my hands together 
And then I'm just gonna put this throughout my hair. So I'm gonna comb the bottom. Revlon hair dryer, I actually did a full on dedicated video to this a very while back and I still use this all the time. It's so, so good. And it's basically like a way more affordable version than the Dyson Airwrap. It doesn't have like the great technology where it's gonna protect your hair, but it gets like the same kind of, same kind of look. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this. This is my finished hair. It's nice and fluffy. You know, the ends are like curved in like a blowout would be. I have some nice volume on top. It just, it looks really good. And that took me, I would say about 10 minutes. I didn't like fully dry the back just cause I want to let it air dry because tomorrow before I go to the baby shower, I'm probably gonna straighten it a little bit. So I don't want to like overkill the heat, but I'm gonna take my contacts out, brush my teeth, hop into bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. I told you I used to be in the Autobahn Society. What does that mean? Come on, baby. Autobahn. Bird? You're better than that. John Autobahn. He's a conservatist. Conservationist? conservationist? <laughs> conservationist. Yeah, you're better than that <laughs> jerk. That's what you get. Yeah, it is what I get. And what'd you do? Bird watch? Yeah, we used to bird watch. Good morning. So, we had coffee outside. Mike and I, we chilled. I think I got like a little snippet of that on my phone but i definitely want to take this bad boy off it's been way more than eight hours but i just do want to say i totally forgot this was on my face i roll around a lot in my sleep and this did not move like at all in my sleep it really stayed put it's like really on there it's super comfortable and i don't know i kind of thought like i've never used one of these acne stickers before but i kind of thought it would feel like a sticker like you know especially because it's in my mouth region like if i talked i figured i would feel like the pulling sensation but i definitely don't i mean it like definitely pulled some stuff out you see that dot in the middle it's definitely flatter it's still red but it's completely flat and there's a hole in the center of it so i feel like this stuff like really grabbed the stuff out of it oh my god guys it's like totally flat wow i feel so excited about my pimple mike was like wow it looks so much better than it did yesterday and i feel like that's always a good sign so okay i took my pajama top off i think i'm just gonna film a video in a sports bra because i'm just like hot and i'm getting ready to actually like go somewhere so i don't want to like sweat all my makeup off because that is a recurring issue for me i've gathered like all of the beauty products that just like make me feel really awesome about myself make me feel beautiful like just really work for me. I just want to get dressed to the nines because I literally go nowhere. Mike and I literally do nothing because, you know, of COVID stuff. And I'm going to an outdoor baby shower. So I have this dress in mind that I bought at the end of last summer, because, you know, sales, to wear this summer. And then, you know, COVID happened and literally went nowhere. So this is the makeup look that I created. I hope you can see it. It's very dramatic. Not sure if this is like a baby shower appropriate look, but it's very me. So you know what? Always be true to yourself, no matter what other people say or what other people think. This is the look that I went for, a reformation with this slit. And then I'm wearing these super old guest shoes. So this is the vibe. Very me. I don't know if you guys like saw this makeup look, but I'm off to the baby shower in my super dramatic uh, makeup and I don't really know outfit. This is just very me, okay? And if anything, always be unapologetically yourself. It's important to always be yourself. Be yourself, girlfriend, even if others have a lot to say because it doesn't really matter. And when people shit talk you, it usually has a lot to do with them and not really anything to do with you. So this is my dramatic makeup look. I feel very beautiful, very me. This is a very me makeup look. I would love a mimosa. And I heard Kelly, she got the mimosas, so. All right, I just got back from the baby shower. I ate so much cake and like so many treats. I feel really nauseous and like really exhausted. So I just asked Mike if he wanted to go for a walk. So I think we're gonna go for a walk and hopefully it'll help me digest 
the pound and a half of cake that I ate because I'm feeling real sick right now. Like, I really don't need another lip gloss. I have so many lip glosses. Okay. But these just look so good and they're new. It's only eight bucks. So I know, but still. It's not like they're for you all the What color? I feel like every time we go somewhere different in the store, they look different. Like the lighting. It looks so different on this too. Hmm. I love Maybelline lip products. Oh my god. <gasps> pumpkins. Maybe they have cute pumpkins in here. We should look for, um, you know what we should look for? What? A plunger for when the last time you clogged up the toilet. I didn't clog the toilet. That wasn't <laughs> me. And that's really rude. <laughs> Got gotcha. you. Cheese fries. Mm, those look good. Something super healthy. And The Shining. And you the shining. love this movie. I only saw it one time. Weren't you scared of this movie? Or you didn't like it really? I'm a little disappointed. <gasps> Wasn't this on our Halloween list last year? Uh huh. We have to make another Halloween list. Yeah, I have some movies for it. We do? I want to watch Get Out. I'm excited. That looks a little freaky. Those are the $20 hot wings that we bought. Those look okay. They don't really look like McDonald's grade though. I don't know. It's fine. This is good. Oh, hello. Look at my mirrors. I have two mirrors. It's like Inception. I slept late today. It's 9.30. I'm just, I was so tired. So I need to go have some coffee and then I need to find Miguel. I also need to like work out and move because I barely worked out and I barely moved yesterday. Well, actually I didn't work out yesterday, but I just ate a ton of crap like at the baby shower. And then you guys saw we had like fast food for dinner, which I can't remember the last time I had fast food. So I just feel not good. Mm -hmm. These look really good though. Do they taste good? Mm, those are good. I'm trying to eat a little healthier today. Mike made pancakes, but I literally only had two. I had two cups of coffee, and now I'm gonna drink this water. And then I think I'm gonna work out because I think I need to like rev my engines. And for me, like I can't wake up unless I have two cups of coffee and work out. It's just how my body works. So last night I was on the hunt for Halloween decor because if you don't know, Halloween is my favorite holiday. It's just such a different holiday. I feel like Christmas, Thanksgiving, the typical favorites, they're so like warm and lovey and like all of us sit around a table and like family time. And like Halloween is not that. Halloween is about fun. I mean, not that hanging out with my family isn't fun, but it's just a very different vibe. You get dressed up, you get to pretend you're someone else for the night, you get to like be a character, which like, I feel like for me, I'm different characters when I put a full face of makeup on. So I feel like that's why I love Halloween so much. But also I really just have fond memories of Halloween. Like growing up, my mom used to make Halloween like the biggest deal. We have this huge window in the front of our house and she would have a ton of decorations to decorate the window with in the basement. And she would pull them out and literally like me, my sister, and then my brother when he was old enough would like sit on the couch with this array of Halloween decorations and just like decorate different portions of this huge window. And it was just so much fun. And that has like really stuck with me. My friends would always come over. We would make our own costumes like Alexa. I'm pretty sure Alexa and I, we would spend like most Halloweens together. We would like always dress up together. I just have such fond memories and I just, I love Halloween. So we were on the hunt for some Halloween decor and we literally bought none because we went to like all these different places and it's just really lacking and it makes me really sad because I feel like Halloween is like slowly dying and that's not okay with me. Like Halloween will never die. But we found some really cute, well I found these at Target. They had like the cutest lollipops. I'll, I'll see if I can find them. But they were like ring pops in the shape of like poop emojis, which I guess is kind of gross now that I'm saying it. But they were all decorated as different like Halloween characters. So cute. So we bought those for all of our nieces and nephews and I cannot wait to give them to them. I feel like they're gonna love them, but I feel like I'm way more excited about the ring pops than they will be. We'll do a little Target haul. Oh my God, I look so awful. Like I didn't even brush my hair. Sorry guys, this is like the real deal you're saying. So the lollipops, look how cute. Like this guy, what is he? F a witch, a vampire, a candy corn, a pumpkin. Like these are so cute and there's 20 of them in here, 20 
of these and I think this was like five dollars that's exciting I also got black nail polish in October I always wear black nail polish just because I love Halloween and I love black nail polish so all the more reason these are the lip glosses I was talking about I got two shades this one is in the shade stone this is the one that Mike liked and this is kind of a pinky brownish shade and then this is the one that I liked which is amber which is a little bit more peach. I feel like it'll just make my lips look huge. And I just, I really love the packaging. I got these little feet sheets, like face sheets for your feet. Um, this one is Holler and Glow Avo Good Day. Super nourishing and hydrating sock masks. Thirsty feet, deep moisture foot mask for dry and tired skin. So I figured Mike and I can do these together. I thought that would be fun. And I feel like everyone has been doing these like all over social media. I see people with like foot masks and they're just mad cute. So I think I'm gonna drink this water. I think we should go work out. Okay, I got a little distracted as I usually get very distracted um, before I work out because even though I love working out, I always put it off. So I cleaned the bathroom. I'm now sitting on the bathroom floor and I wanted to show you guys my skincare collection. This is a mess. We're gonna need to handle this and this is what we're gonna do right now. Let's go through my Lazy Susan first. I love this thing. It spins around, which is uber convenient when it sits in there. I'm gonna go ahead, dump all this out, organize it, and then we will put it back together. I think I'm gonna do my toners and my setting sprays together. So, Neutrogena alcohol-free toner. This is just great for after I wash my face, whether I double cleanse or not, I will take this on a little cotton round and just get any of the makeup typically that I can't get off of my face when I wash my face in the sink. Like I find that you get makeup stuck along your hairline, at least for me, and like on my ears. So this is great on a cotton round to just get rid of any of the makeup that's left over. I also have the Pixi Glow Tonic Toner, which I haven't really given a fair shot. This doesn't really do anything, girl and alchemist balancing toner. I don't really love this. I do, however, love their rose hip serum, which I ran out of that and I haven't repurchased it just for the fact that I have so many serums, which you're about to see. So I want to go through those first. Setting sprays, Pixi Glow Mist. This has propolis, propolis, I don't know how you say that, and argan oil. It's very dewy and it's very oily. So if you have oily skin, absolutely not. I think if you're someone that has dry skin, like I like this in the winter. So I will definitely use this in the winter. And sometimes guys, like if I just want to juice up my skin, I will just throw this on my face with no makeup on. Avene Thermal Spring Water. It's literally just spring water in a can, but like look at this spray. So nice. It just like feels so refreshing. If you're someone with dry skin, it feels so, so good. If you have oily skin though, I think you can use this as a setting spray for your makeup, just like a facial mist because it's literally just water. So it's not gonna make your skin oily at all. It will set your makeup beautifully on a warm day. It feels really nice. It just, it feels nice all the time. And this bottle like always feels cold and it's so cooling. Highly recommend this. I got this off of Amazon. It was kind of pricey. It was $9 for this and you get 1.6 full ounces, but it's so good guys. It's so nice if you just like a refreshing mist. So good. This has been like a staple for me for a really long time. Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water. It's really nice. I like to use it after a day in the sun because it does have aloe in it. It smells nice, very like feminine. It has a nice mist and these are always super affordable. Do I have any other <clears throat> except they are fragranted and I just ate it. I'll put this one in here too, even though this is considered an SPF. This is the Kula Refreshing Water Mist with a SPF of 18. It's just like a makeup setting spray or you can just put it on your clean skin. The only thing is, is that this makes me break out if I use this too many days in a row. So this is safe for me if I use it like two days in a row, but I wouldn't bump it to three. I think the coconut aspect of it makes me break out. Eye creams, just cause I see them right here. Heals Youth Eye Treatment, Youth Dose Eye Treatment. So, so good guys. I bought this for my mom. She likes it, I'm pretty sure. I feel like with my mom, if she likes something, she won't talk about it. If she greatly dislikes something, she'll let me know. So the fact that she hasn't mentioned it, I feel like, you know, 
I feel like she likes it. This has pro retinol, red grape seed extract, and vitamin C. So it will help to brighten up your under eyes. It's going to get rid of those fine lines. It's just really, really good. And it's sensitive skin friendly. I have very sensitive skin if you didn't know that. This I don't really love. Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. I don't really know if it brightens and depuffs because every time I use it, it just really irritates my under eyes. No matter like how far I keep it away from my eye, it just it gives me like little red patches patches and red spots under my eyes so we just don't get along i haven't tried this so i will keep this this is a malin and goats revitalizing eye gel this is an eye cream i do really love like their lip moisturizer oh my god it's so good i just ran out i need to buy a new one this is pretty good i used this for a while this is the gold fade in md bright eyes dark circle radiance concentrate it does definitely brighten my under eyes and my dark circles a little bit but it's nothing like I didn't notice like a huge, huge difference, but it is very hydrating. It's very sensitive, skin friendly, and I like that it has a little pump. Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment. It does give relief, so if you have like a deep set pimple that really, really hurts, it does give like an instant relief feeling, but I will say I do need to use this for like two days until my pimple goes away. This is just like a more natural way to treat pimples. This is Trader Joe's Tea Tree Oil. So, so good. I'll apply this to my pimple pimples with a q-tip it's just straight up tea tree oil i like despise the scent of tea tree oil though it's really disgusting let's move on to my serum so i don't really love this i got this as a sample clarence sent it to me this is the extra firming phyto serum i just i don't vibe with it that well it's sticky another serum that i had such high hopes for but i ended up not really loving saint self tanning purifying vitamin self boost tanning it's a tanning serum okay and it has vitamin c and d so vitamin c does help to brighten the skin get rid of dark spots over time my tan just looks splotchy blotchy every time i use it it doesn't give me an even tan on my face and it is kind of a stickier serum which is not a serum that i gravitate towards on a daily basis but i will use it because i bought it this one is like my seventh bottle the L'Occitane Immortal Reset Cream. Absolutely love this. It smells beautiful. It makes my skin look really vibrant, youthful. I really do like this. It's really worth the price. A sticky serum that I don't really love. This is the Collagen Triple Boost Serum by Exuviance, but it was expensive. I did make a pretty big dent. I didn't really notice any big difference in my skin, but I did notice how sticky it was. The Treatment Lotion. This is really good. It's really pricey, so I use it very sparingly because I don't want to run out of it. Mike bought it for me for Valentine's Day, which Mike gives me like the best Valentine's Day presents. He got me this one year, and then last year he bought me the Gucci perfume. I'm pretty sure it's Blossom. Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum. Guys, anyone who comes to me that's like, give me an affordable wrinkle solving product, Neutrogena is where it's at. I have their serum and I also have their nighttime moisturizer. This is my favorite face oil at the moment. This is the go-to face hero, a powerful and protective face oil and it's clean beauty. I love this. I put this over top as a final step in my skincare routine when my skin is really, really dry. It is the thickest product that you'll put on your face and it will really just lock all the products that you put on your face in. And I also use this in the morning when I give myself a face massage, which I haven't done that in a while and I can tell just all in here. It's like a little saggier now that I'm not doing it. So I need to get back on the whole face massage train. This is disgusting. I've had this for so long. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer Sunscreen with SPF 30. This is one of my favorite face moisturizers with SPF in it. Very good for sensitive skin. This is the Neutrogena Visibly Even Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30. So Biore UV Aqua Rich watery essence spf 50 it's just very watery and it irritates my skin i don't like it so i'm gonna give this to mike because i know he will use it apto healing mask clean beauty really good to prevent and fix up those pimples ahava hydration cream mask the reason why i don't really like this is because i put it all over my face and then you're supposed to tap off the excess but my face like absorbs it and i just prefer like a mask to wash off so i will keep this because it does do a really good job of hydrating but it's just not my favorite 
kind of mask, if that makes sense. And then this is kind of like the same vibe as the Ahava. This is the Avene Mask Hydrant. Kind of the same thing, you put it on and then tap off the excess, but my skin eats it all, so I really never have any to tap off. Eye makeup remover, this is the best one by far. This is the oil-free eye makeup remover by Neutrogena. So good, guys, don't sleep on this. I'm gonna put that with my eye creams because I have some room. The milk makeup toner. I feel like this is a rip off to be totally completely honest, but I'll put this with my other toners. We have my toners in this section, my serums in this section, my deodorant face masks. These are my face lotions. And yeah, my eye creams and my eye makeup remover. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this to the side. Let's go through this bag of products that I've been testing, trying, and using every night. I just like to leave this up here. I tried this with you guys for the first time the other day. That was the only time that I've tried it. The Bliss Clear Genius Serum. It gave me like temporary bumps all over my skin. Like that night I was going to bed and I looked at my face in the mirror and was like, why are there little bumps all over my face? And they were gone by the next day. So I don't really know how my skin's gonna get on with this. I'll let you guys know, but I'm gonna leave it in here to test it. A lot of these are from recent videos that I've done skincare wise. Sobel Skin RX, Bomb Company. Expensive, yes, worth it, absolutely. Vitamin C serum, and I have the niacinamide firming serum. This is $105, kind of pricey. Um, so I do recommend, which is also in this little kit of mine, the Mad Hippie Vitamin C serum, because it's super, inexpensive and it's quite comparable to this one. So I love this one. Don't sleep on this. The 15% niacinamide, so good. Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream. Drunk Elephant Number Nine Jelly Cleanser. I hate this, so I might just donate this to my sister maybe. Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24. Great eye cream, so good. I always come back to this one. Bum Bum Cream. This kind of just sits on this little plastic thing that I'm about to show you, but I'm almost out of this, so I need to finish this up. So good, I love it so much. I'm thinking about doing um, a Masking Monday, which I haven't done one of those in a hot minute, but this is the Cottage Greenhouse Orange Blossom and Honey Pomegranate Ginseng and Orange Peel. It nourishes, restores, and replenishes skin, and it is a clean beauty brand. Of course, I have lashes sitting on top of this. Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. Fresh has great masks, I love them all. And I have this guy, which I put my masks in, so let's go through this. Green Clean Pharmacy. This is just a makeup cleansing balm. Really good. This is my favorite. This is like the only one that I buy anymore. NAR Skin Luminous Moisture Cream. I was really on this for a hot minute. There's like none left in here, but then I moved on to other things. It was like really fragranted and kind of irritated my skin every once in a while, but it was NAR, so you know me. I love NAR, so I just kind of lived for this for a while. Mm, this irritated my skin. This is the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Me and Sunday Riley. The products that I've tried, we just don't get along. It literally smells like orange juice. It smells so good. L'Occitane Tan Soothing Mask. I did a whole review on this one. It smells like a blueberry pie. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Masks. You wear them overnight and they have hyaluronic acid in them. Maybe I'll try one of these. Lotus Youth Preserve by Fresh. I was about to say it smells like the ocean, but it smells like the ocean on like a bad day, you know? When it's like low tide and just stanky. It's the only reason why I don't love this mask, but it does do a really nice job of making my skin bright. I just, the scent is just, no. I bought this and was so excited to use this and I really didn't love it, but maybe I'll do a masking Monday and like dedicate a week to this because I feel like maybe I should give this a second chance. Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. One side has like a gel, almost like serum, and then the other side is a cream. Rose Face Mask, lip for this. This is just like an easy one, two, three, throw this on your face, leave it on and it smells like roses. This is so good. I usually use this in the summer, but I really didn't mask like at all this summer, which is very unlike me, but this is the Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. It smells so good. It's very citrusy. And if you have a sunburn and you put this on it, it's like, it feels so good, so good. I have my cat ears that I wear all the time. This is like what I put on my head when I do my skincare at night to keep my hair back. I forgot I even had these. The Rodan and Fields Lip Renewing Serum. This is pretty good. This is pricey though. This is what it looks like. Not like the best. I think I need to get like something else in addition to this because I have this mask and I have those and I plan on just like plopping them up here. So not like the best, but we make do with what we got. And then I also have this thing that I got off of Amazon. It's kind of just, it fits perfectly right there. It just has like my two body moisturizers. 
Nivea Essentially Enriched, Aveeno Daily Moisturizer, my Lady Area Spray that keeps me nice and fresh, and oh, I've talked about this before. This was in my Summer Essentials video. We don't need to recap on this one. Wide Tooth, blah, 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 blah. Wide Toothed Comb, Contact Solution, Jergens Natural Glow, Daily Moisturizer with Self Tanner in it, and then I just have some like sample masks that I want to try. Okay, there we go. That looks so much better. I love this. This makes me feel so good. And then now that it's organized, I'll probably use a lot more stuff. So thanks so much for going through this with me. If you have any questions about the products that I mentioned, leave them down below. I worked out, I did a 30 minute arm workout. That was really good. And yeah, and I painted my nails and this is what they look like in case you're wondering. All right, I gotta go. Subscribe, ring the bell. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.